This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Lynda.com. What's up, everyone? John Renter from Techno Buffalo here. The Surface Pro 3 was announced last week. It's getting a lot of attention, and I think rightfully so, but what's really going under the radar is this guy. This is the Surface Pen. When we did our unboxing and hands-on, I got a lot of questions about this and how it's different and what it does, and there's a lot of technology crammed in this teeny tiny little pen. So let me show you what writing with this and this is all about. All right, so we've got the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface Pen, and Microsoft said this was designed to look like a regular pen. I don't know what kind of regular pens you're using, uh, but it definitely feels diameter-wise and weight-wise like a normal pen. And like normal pens that have a little clicky thing on top, this also has a little clicky thing on top. And when you click it, it's going to open up OneNote, which is kind of handy. And OneNote's really the application that Microsoft is hoping you're going to use this with most if you're not doing any sort of drawing or graphic design. Uh, so a quick tour around the pen, it's got a little clip if you want to clip it onto things and if you want to store it, if you get a type cover, which you probably should if you're using a Surface, you could store it right in here. Otherwise, there are a little bit of magnetic spots on the left and right side. You can sort of keep it there uh, lightly, but if you put a lot of weight on it or movement, it's going to fall right off. But there are magnets on the side and you can store it there. Um, okay, so you've got two buttons. You've got one down below, you've got one up top, you've got a pressure sensitive tip and a little clicky button. As much as you want to use that as an eraser, it is not going to work. Again, click it, it's going to wake up your surface and launch OneNote. So immediately, you can start drawing. You can see that it's pretty close to one-to-one -one there. Microsoft says it's between 0.5 and one millimeter of accuracy. And this is definitely the most accurate that I've seen on any other sort of tablet that I've used with a pen input. Uh, it's really close to mirroring exactly what I'm doing without much of a delay, which is extremely impressive. So if you click the top button, so the one close to the little clicky part, you are going to get what shows up is a little bit of a menu option. If you go ahead and click that down, uh, you get different options for how you want to select what color pens you want, the thickness, the eraser, um, and all kinds of other stuff. And I'm not making contact with the uh, tablet itself, I'm just sort of hovering over it and the cursor starts to move. Uh, so bear that in mind, and you can draw, and again, it's close to one-to-one. -one. But let's say you're drawing and you want to draw on the left side and you're right-handed, your palm is going to rest right on the screen. Uh, well, it's got, Smart's enough to know that that's not an input um, and it won't recognize your palms at all, which is really uh, extremely nice feature, uh, I think. If you go ahead and push down further on the sensitive tip, you can get a bit of a thicker lines if you want. So the top button, the one closest to the click, you can use to select if you just sort of hold it down and draw around, you get sort of that circle thing that pops up and you can go ahead and select an area. You can move it anywhere you want. But let's say you don't like what you just did, the button closest to the point, you can hold that down, you can just start erasing things. And it works pretty well. It'll do sort of bigger races if you want, uh, or smaller ones. Uh, it's a really good one-to-one -one experience. I've been really surprised uh, with how good it is. Now, I'm certainly not an artist. Uh, I'm by no means uh, an artist at all. Uh, but I could really see myself writing notes on this. It's almost seemed like using uh, a notepad. If I want to sort of write notes real quickly, uh, it works, and works very, very well. So Microsoft is hoping you can replace a, a complete uh, pen and paper with this. And this is the first time I've used a pen input that I think I actually could. Really, really good. Don't judge this experience based on what the pen input was on previous Surface Pros. Uh, this one is an entirely different experience and works really, really well. Take a quick sec from talking about this to tell you about our friends and good peeps at lynda.com. They offer thousands of engaging, easy to follow video tutorials that are taught by experts in the field. Like let's say you picked up a new Surface and you want to use a Surface Pen to learn how to be a graphic artist. Folks at Lynda can teach you how to do that. You can learn whatever you want from software, creative, and business skills. If they want to create a business just drawing stuff with this, they can help you get there. Membership starts at just 25 bucks per month and it's online, so it's unlimited 24 seven access. You can learn at your own pace or regularly just sit and just binge. You do courses in things like web design, programming design, photography, business, audio, video, 3D animation, and a ton of other things. Try lynda.com free for seven days by visiting lynda.com slash technobuffalo. Let's talk more about this guy. Uh, Microsoft did a pretty incredible job with this. And obviously there are other applications you can use. Microsoft includes painting applications and all kinds of other stuff to use um, with the Surface Pen. Uh, this is just sort of an example of what you can do with it, how well it works, um, that kind of thing. But it, it, it does work very, very well. Again, here you can see all kinds of other options you can select. Um, but if you're the kind of person, you're a graphic artist, and you want to sort of decide if this is the right thing for you, uh, I think rest assured that it's going to work very well, and you'll be relatively pleased uh, with the effect. And you can sort of check and get some watercolor effect going on here, if I could draw something. 
I would, let's say, let's bring this guy. Here we go. Glaring at you. That's his meh face. Um, this is a John Rettinger original right here. Uh, but again, it works very well. Really impressed with what Microsoft has done. Uh, stay tuned for a full review, though, of the Surface Pro coming. Uh, I'll touch a little bit more on the pen, but I'll reference back to this video when I discuss uh, the pen input in the full review. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye bye. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. We'll be the first one to know whenever we upload new content. We've got new stuff coming every single day. We want to make sure you see what's new in the world of consumer electronics.